it's Lisa Lampanelli, comedy's lovable queen of mean, and welcome to my first weekly tweet roast of people on Twitter. They volunteered. Don't freaking blame me. Today, we are here to roast a selfish, unemployed, degenerate gambler. No, I'm not talking about Pete Rose. I'm talking, of course, about the J Mommy. The J Mommy gambled away her kids' educational funds in order to buy a Mercedes. Suddenly, Dina Lohan becomes second worst parent in America. Jay Mommy, you're a great mom. You know, your maternal instincts are more questionable than Zsa Zsa Gabor's double Dutch skills. The Jay Mommy gambles so much she's more popular in Atlantic City than prostitution, minorities, and suicide. I joke, Jay Mommy, I could see you in a Mercedes SLK, which in your case would stand for totally schoolless kid. We're also here to roast an unfunny wannabe comedian who dates people way too young for him. No, not the situation. I'm talking about T. Betzoid. Really? The name alone. I love T. Betzoid. He's a beginning journalist, blogger, and comedian who's been successful at one thing in his lifetime, remaining utterly anonymous. T. Betzoid is a 32 T. Betzoid is a 32-year-old gay man who lives with his parents. I stumble over his name because he's known by many things in the business. Gay at home Todd, homo alone, and daddy's little disappointment. T. Betzoid says he dates 19-year-old men. T. Betzoid has robbed the cradle more than Papa John Phillips. He's ridden more wild young asses than a Mexican farmhand. And he's seen more juiced up assholes and dicks than the casting director of Jersey Shore. Moving on. Five Foot Mohawk is a big titted Puerto Rican biatch who's a college dropout with no job. Hmm, way to buck the system, Five Foot. Now please get back to tidying my room. Five Foot Mohawk says her tits are 36E. 36E! If your tits are that big, I bet your hips belong on Sabado Gigante. Five Foot Mohawk's tits are the biggest thing to come out of Puerto Rico since Jennifer Lopez's ass. And those Spanish tits are so big and buoyant, she should rent them out to Cubans and Dominicans to float over here on. Five foot, you know I love you Latinas, but come on, we know you all are sluts. I bet you're the biggest ball player to come out of Puerto Rico since Rico Clemente. And his name's really Roberto Clemente, and I fucked that up. But you don't know who that is anyway, because it's an old reference. So F you, go back to MySpace. Five foot Mohawk contends she's a starving artist. Police! Since when is tagging the side of buildings in the projects art? And by the way, if you're starving five foot, don't worry about it. Just go get a job in the kitchen of the IHOP with the rest of your familia. In closing, five foot, you're short, ethnic, have no job or talent and big boobs. Lucky for you, Rutgers University is paying people just like you 32 grand to speak at their college. Finally, we are roasting UK justice a mixed-race black who's Puerto Rican and Swedish. Black, Puerto Rican, and Swedish. What does that mean? You steal stuff from Ikea? Oh, come on, Justice. I've seen your photos. There's nothing Swedish about you. You look like a bulimic Benicio del Toro. You know, I would be remiss at this time if I did not congratulate you, Justice, on your weight loss. I love your before and after pictures, but seriously, keep your clothes on, okay? You probably have more stretch marks at this point than the Octomom and Kate Goslin combined. Seriously, you look so great after your AIDS diet. Look at that before picture. You look like Shirley Hemphill from What's Happening. But Justice, one word of advice. Now that you've lost all that weight, do yourself a favor. Change the hair. Jesus Christ, your hair is kinkier than George Michael in a public men's room. I joke, UK Justice. I love you. And that's mostly because you're a British fag. I know, redundant. I bet you've blown out more British men's colons than late night curry. You've been in more British men's mouths than bad dental work. You've had more British men ride your tunnel than the London Underground. I got a million of them. In closing, UK Justice, I'd like to say you were fat, bloated, and fucked by lots of guys. Congratulations, Justice. You're the precious of England. Tune in, everyone, next week for my second weekly roast. And by the way, if you like this, or even if you didn't, let me know by tweeting hashtag tweet roast. I let's get this shit trending, bitches. Tweet roast, Lisa Lampanelli.
power. 